This is gonna last like an hour with a newborn. We need to get the big pack. Okay, all right, let's get the big pack. <laughs> What's up, Smelly Bellians? It is Jesse and Tara from Smelly Belly TV, of course. You clicked on the video so you saw the channel. But anyways, we are on a little adventure today because we are gonna be surprising the girls with some Valentine's goodies. So we are by ourselves right now. Where are you? Where are you? Why? Why? What did I what did I do wrong? Be able to get through with these oh, oh, there's giant a giant cards. line of carts. So come along with us, guys. We're gonna have some fun. You guys get to see it. First, before them, it's a surprise, like Jesse said. And actually, you'll be seeing this after Valentine's Day, but you guys know we film ahead, so it is not Valentine's Day yet for us. Shopping cart. Check. Honey, where Hi. are you going? Nowhere. Why, why are we going down this aisle? Because I need something. What do you need? Section. What do you need? Something. Guys, notice this is all the baby stuff around here. Newborn diapers. Why? Why would we need that? Why do you think? I don't know. You tell me. Which ones because are you I'm getting? going to a baby shower. Oh. <laughs> did we get you guys? Did you think that it was going to be for our newborn baby? Not happening. Our director of our homeschool is pregnant and she's going to be having a beautiful baby. And um, we're celebrating their baby shower. It's like a school baby shower. So we're going to celebrate that with her and we're going to pick her up some diapers and a card because who doesn't need diapers when you're having a baby? Like that's like the most important thing. You got to have diapers. But we're not sure which brand she likes, so we're just gonna kind of guess. Go we're gonna go ones. with we're gonna go with the Gentle Care Pampers because that's what we would probably get if we were having another baby. We also are going to get her some wipes. Where's the cart? Um, hello. Oh, oh we got it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. This is gonna last like an hour with a newborn. We need to get the big pack. Okay. All right. Let's get the big pack. <laughs> I guess the big pack is on the other side, so let's go over there, guys. Oh, it's right here. Look. Where's the big pack? Hello. Where's the big pack? We have arrived. We have the big pack right here. And where are we're you gonna, going? We're gonna teamwork we're, it. Oh, teamwork. Okay. Oh, <laughs> man. I swear I could have played basketball. Oh, fun. I could trick shot. I actually was on a basketball team when I was like eight years old. And I was okay, but most of the people were better than me. So I decided <laughs> not to stick with sports and I went into music. It was just. A lot less competitive. All the sports that I have played have been basketball, soccer, hockey, and I think that's that's pretty much it. So let me know what you guys have played or what sports you do play. Once Tara starts shopping for baby stuff, she just can't stop. I thought we were going to stop with just the diapers, but no, she cannot stop. We got to get the big thing of wipes. And what is that? It's a baby bath starter kit. We got to get the baby bath starter kit. The first gift that we are getting the girls for Valentine's Day are goggles. And I have told the girls that I was not going to buy them any more goggles because we have literally bought, since we moved to Florida, I want to say 15 pairs of goggles and they lost them every time. So I said, if you guys want goggles, you're going to have to buy them with your allowance. But Tara says, no, it would be a great gift and I guess I can't disagree with that. Look guys, we can get a pair of goggles for Rory too. Yep, there's Aww. ages 3 to 8, so we're going to get her yes. some as well. Rory does absolutely love wearing goggles too. She thinks she's so cool when she's in her little floaty and sticks her head under the water. She thinks, oh, I think, yes, when we, you guys saw her in goggles when we were at the hotel because when our floors were being done, um, yeah, she used goggles for her first time. That was her first time using goggles. So we were talking a lot about sports earlier and Jayla has really been wanting to get into a sport and that sport is going to be soccer. But before we get her into that sport, we're gonna make sure that she actually enjoys running around, yeah. kicking the ball back and forth. Which soccer ball do you guys think we are going to get Jayla? The purple? What color, purple or black? Leave in the comments below. Guys, we are failing at vlogging today. There's only two minutes left of battery life. That is a terrible, terrible thing. But thankfully we have a charger in the car. So we're gonna finish up our shopping and then show you the haul when we get home, but I'll give you a little sneak peek. These are Rory's favorite chips. So they're going in her Valentine's bag. We like to get like silly things as well. Uh, Jayla got a giant jar of Nutella, but we'll show you the real Valentine's Day treats when we get home.
And I think Tara has something that she wants to show you guys. Okay, so we're having a school Valentine party tomorrow with our homeschool community, and I made these awesome treats, guys. I'm not like the best baker in the world, but I think I did pretty good. So I'm gonna show you. It's a really easy recipe, but like I think they came out really, really perfect. Okay, super quick. Here's what you need to make these. It's only one item. Can you believe I said I made all of these? Well, actually two, sorry. You need a box of little dabbies. <laughs> <laughs> But mom tip, mom trick. If you are not into baking or you don't have time to bake, which is my problem, I don't have time to bake this year. It looks cute and kids love little Debbie's. I just put some sprinkles down on the plate to dress it up. I think it's cute. Actually, we're just gonna tell everyone at school that Tara made them from scratch at home and they'll never know. No, Actually, no. I'm just kidding guys. Do not lie, that is very bad. Even if it's a fib, okay? We would obviously tell them that we're joking. Because we don't lie. Never. That would be bad, right? That would be bad. That would be bad. I'm obviously going to tell them my little trick because some moms are probably going to use it. Look, Terry even dressed it up a little bit more by putting it in this, like, little... Tin. Tin. Rory, tomorrow at our party, you get to pass out Valentine cards. And guess what? I got you your own mailbox and cards to pass out to all your friends. Yeah. yeah this Isn't is for cool? you. So inside of it is... Lollipops. We're gonna have oh. those. Those are not for now. Those are for later. Those are for your friends. Yes. Okay. And those you're gonna, gonna get, get some and too. You're gonna get some too. But look at all these cards you can pass out to your friends. And then. And then listen, when you get a card, this is your mailbox. You get to put all yeah, your stuff cool? inside. And then I just. It's so cute. We we just suck these in our mouth. Yeah. <laughs> we do. Yeah, we do. That's why they're called a sucker. <laughs> I am not happy right now. The girls decided to leave their hummus sitting on the couch wide open and guess who got to it? Let's check out his little guilty face. Look at this guilty hummus filled face. But it's not his fault. No. It's the girl's fault. He doesn't know any he better. He doesn't know any better. He's he smells pop. food and he's gonna be like, yep, look at that. Look at all that on this guys. This was <laughs> almost full guys. There was a tiny dip missing out of it. Oh. And it's all gone. And Franco's? And it's the, um, it's the uh, edamame hummus. It's our favorite. It's our favorite. <gasps> Franco! How could you? Franco, you have disappointed me as my son. You will now not be, you will not be my full son. Usually we only do Sunday skate in the house, but Rory's skates have never been outside. So I don't mind them being in the house, whereas the girls have been outside and it's filthy out there. I don't know what gets stuck up on them wheels, and I don't want it in my house, except for Sundays, because the floors get cleaned on Mondays. Yes, that sounded so pleasant to say and to hear as I was saying it. Rory, the Rorasaurus, is going to show you guys some of her most incredible skating moves. She is on her Trolls skating shoes, I guess I would call them, because you have to like wear a boot with it in order for it to work. Rory, are you ready to show the Smelly Valians what you can do? Yeah. Way to get started, girl. You always need to fall so you can get back up, right? to show you a Valentine haul, and we will, but first, short commercial break. Are you tired of finding remotes and always getting the wrong remote when you, and dropping your cups all over the place and not having a good place to put your snacks? Are you feeling worn out and exhausted of searching around the house for your remotes? Yes? Then you need this. <laughs> that is the Bunkston Armrest Organizer currently on sale for $5. And you don't even have to pay shipping or handling. The Bunkston Armrest Organizer rests atop the armrest of your favorite chair or recliner. Store remote controls, newspapers, eyeglasses, and more in any of the six compartments. Handy tray on top holds all your favorite snacks and beverages. The ultimate man or woman cave accessory. Now that everything is organized and ready to go, you can sit back and enjoy the show. 
Bunston Armrest Organizer is not a sponsor of Smelly Belly TV, nor was that a commercial for them. It was a joke, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, because it was a lot of fun for us to do. And we, we might actually really use this thing. Um, it's not the prettiest thing I've ever seen. It's kind of nice, though. But it is kind of nice. I just wish it blended in a little bit more. And for five bucks, I mean, that is kind of a steal. I mean, it does organize the remotes. It is really nice how that thing <laughs> organizes everything, but it's, to me, I just, it doesn't match with the couch. So we can't have that in the house. I will be donating it to my father, who does have a man cave, and he can use it on his man chair. We promised you guys a Valentine's Day haul. That's everything we got. We have Reese's, goggles, more goggles, Reese's, Reese's, tuna, more tuna, more tuna, and more tuna. Who do you guys think's getting the tuna? More goggles, M&M's, Num Num's blind bag, Num Num's blind bag, Oreo egg, sweet tarts, fondue set, trolls, I don't even know what you call these, trolls, lipsticks. A cute little cup! Look at it guys, it's got a little straw and everything. And the classic sweethearts, but they're sour. One last item and you guys already know who it's for. Doritos! All of this will be going inside of these bags, but you guys won't know who they're for until another vlog when they actually open their gifts up. That was the Valentine's Day haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And now I'm gonna go see what Jayla and Ada are doing because they're back home now. I think Jayla, I just instructed her to continue writing her paper for school. Let's see if she's doing it. Honestly, just triggered that. Look at it, they all went downstairs. We're coming in. Daddy. How's the paper going? What does this mean? She can't understand what, the writing. My writing? And I can't either. <laughs> Let's <laughs> see here. It's microscopic. That is a, that says the. They <laughs> no. always, no, no, wait. That they does always not say win. the. I know what that was for. That was an abbreviation that I told Jayla to remember. Okay, I get like the abbreviation thing, but how do you see an F, a T, or an H out of that chip. Okay, I, I, I was see writing. Chicken scratch. I was writing with my left hand. And Why? I was You're tweeting right Rory with my right. <laughs> okay? <laughs> she wanted some broccoli cheese soup. All right. Hot mess homeschool dad. Hot mess homeschool dad. <laughs> Tara claims that I cannot write a paper. I'm a good writer. You can I say am. good. That's a banned I, word. Oh. What's a better word? All right. I am an excellent writer. What's better than excellent? I am a grand writer. No. I am a fantastic writer. I am a marvelous writer. I, I am an incredible writer. I could do so. Listen. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah. That was a good one. But you you had to look in the student exactly. resource. That's why I use this stuff. We made it through rough draft number one. Now we're moving on to rough draft number two. And this time Jayla has double space so I can make, I can have room for writing my directions. <laughs> You already barked enough, haven't yeah, you? Baby, haven't you barked enough? Chicken noodle shoots. Jimmy Jolly. What are you doing? I'm going alone. All the way to oh, the promised land. Oh, this is what homeschool people do. They just sit around and they don't Daddy, they don't actually write papers. They no. just pretend they're Daddy, horses. Daddy, I'm watching. I can do it. Oh, wow. Jayla is finishing up her paper and all the other kids are laying down, and I'm gonna go see if I can get their favorite parts of the day. Rory might already be asleep, though. Okay, I guess I was wrong. Rory is up with Ada Bear. Rory, can I get your favorite part of the day, huh? Yeah. What was it? The computer was black. The computer is black? It has a black screen? Okay, well, you need to go to bed, okay? No. Ada Bear's trying to get you to bed. All right, Ada Bear, what was your favorite part of the day? My favorite part of the day was we went to the the YMCA. Yeah. Yeah. And you went swimming. Yeah. Is that your favorite part? Yeah. My favorite part of the day was shopping for our homeschool director's baby gifts. I'm so excited for her to have her baby. Angel, Angel, what was your favorite part of the day? Huh? Was it cuddling with JJ? My favorite part of the day. Bush petting my unicorn. His unicorn is Jeff. Jeff. It's Jeff. It's Jeffrey. Jayla, what was your favorite part of the day? My favorite part of the day was... 
Doing your paper? No. No. What was it then? My favorite part of the day was staying home with Rory and Mia. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I have to be quiet because I'm trying to get Rory to sleep. But we will see you guys in the next one. Remember, we post daily videos at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you subscribe and hit that like button and comment or something and share and do all that fun stuff. That's awesome. Okay. But anyways, before we go, we have one more thing to do. Would you rather go secret Valentine's Day shopping or write a paper with Jayla? And remember to eat your pickles, kids. Bye. I love you guys. See you in the next one. Click up here to see yesterday's video. Click up there to see more vlogs. Also, check out our YouTube you now, Musical.ly, and Instagram.